you're telling me, yeah, there's a taste of fall out there, but summer's not over. We still have warm temperatures to come. Uh, we do have some warmer temperatures to come, but it is pretty incredible just how quickly the summer yeah, season's is. ending. Yeah, uh, only about a month or so away until we actually see summer drift away. And, and you know, Jeff, us meteorologists, we like to celebrate the summer season even earlier, starting on September 1st. So that's just about two weeks away or so. But of course, all of that coming to an end officially 33 days from now on September 22nd. And it's a sign of the changing times is the lack of sunshine we're seeing. We've been shaving off about a minute or two every single evening, just about the same through the early morning hours. And that means that the Portland metro area for the month of August typically loses about 85 minutes of daylight. And we are already seeing that with our sunset right around 8 o'clock or so right now. Our temperature outlook for the fall season of so September, October, and November, seeing an equal chance to see slightly above or below average temperatures. So that kind of puts us right in the sweet spot of where we should be as far as those afternoon highs go. But it does come with a little bit better of a chance to see the return of some wetter weather as we work our way into the fall months. So something to look forward to if you like those rain showers. But an early taste of the fall season this week. So maybe if you're planning a pool trip, it's going to be on the cooler side. Just look at Saturday only making it up to 68 degrees, struggling to even touch 70. But there you go. Just like Jeff was mentioning, those warmer summer days are still on the horizon for Monday and Tuesday. But hey, let's talk about snow potentials. Yes, the potential for snow at the highest elevations that Oregon offers. So we turn our attention to Mount Hood. That's where our snow elevation level dips down potentially to 6,000 feet. Keep in mind, Mount Hood is uh, over 11,000 feet. So maybe the very tip top of the peak could see a snowflake or two. Of course, nothing is expected to accumulate. And that's all due to this cold front that's going to be pushing its way on shore, maybe bringing us an isolated raindrop or two through the I-5 corridor for the day tomorrow. But the brunt of the front really swings through early Thursday takes us into our Thursday morning commute and then into the afternoon and evening hours on Thursday as well. So we are definitely going to be seeing the cool down as those rain showers return and maybe just maybe a snowflake or two on top of Mount Hood, the very, very tip of it. Yeah, you can't believe you're talking about that already. Snow Hood. I know. Here we are. Yep. Well, coming up.